Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Lucky. I hope this video finds you well and in good spirits. Um, today, we're gonna be taking a step back. Uh, we're gonna be doing some garage modifications. Um, the lighting in here is terrible. What I've been what I've been using to light a lot of my videos is this little box light that I have for some photography stuff I bought years back. Um, and it's been working very well. But um, as you can see, the lighting in here is kind of I'll turn this off. <clears throat> so as you can see, the lighting in here is quite poor. Um, this is what we're working with as far as uh, lighting. So I know it's going to be cold. I don't want to be installing the blower with poor visibility and, you know, uh, a cluttered garage. So I'm doing my best to prepare and get ready for that. Um, so what we actually have and what we're going to be installing are some Barina LED strip lights. We went all out with this. I got 12 of them. So it is about to be super bright. So I got these off Amazon. They are Barina T5 integrated fixtures, but LED strip lights. Um, I've seen a lot of good reviews about these. So uh, I'm very excited and I already plugged one in and it was stupid bright um, so opening of the box you'll be greeted to all of these cables uh, you'll have a bunch of button connectors and also uh, you know uh, switches uh, I think I got about like six of these and a bunch of like little connectors and stuff they have these little adapter pieces that you can loom uh, a few lights together yeah so I'm gonna figure out how I want to light these all up, how, how I want to uh, line these all up. I was surprised that there was even 12 in this. You know, whenever you see traditional LED fixtures, it's just all the bulbs and they're super big and clunky and long. These all fit in a single box. In this box, well, multiple boxes, but in this box, it's housing six and they're tiny but they're super bright. Um, so, uh, and they're four foot, uh, 12 P, four foot 12 P4H. All that information I guess you would need. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all plugged up and then we'll end up seeing how bright they actually are. Okay, so here they all are together. Just get them all together so that you can see, there we go. And they all work. And man, it is bright. So, when I can see, I'll turn it off. The garage is a lot better looking already just with uh, the light sitting there on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them all mounted up on the ceiling. And I mean, hopefully it uh, turns out looking real good in here. Um, I'm very impressed with them though. Like you can't even look at all of them. <laughs> it's like looking at the sun. Um, but yeah, so I got them connected right here with the little U connection and then it runs all the way down. There's U connection right here, runs all the way down and then it runs into the little plug right here. And that's how it is the rest of the way through on these just so that I could uh, make sure that they all work. But they do. Um, the diffuser material, the little plastic that they use on this is actually very, very nice. Like I said, it's very tough because it's not like traditional glass and it does a good job diffusing all of the light from the led strips so um like i said i'm very very impressed and i'm very very happy with it so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like it a whole lot more once i get them on the ceiling so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so to mount these on the ceiling they give you this whole uh package of little clips and stuff there's actually two packages but i ended up uh leaving one inside the house um so one is for the actual light fixture and then uh, one is dedicated for the garage opener. Um, I'm gonna figure something out for that. So we might only have three plugged in because that is actually four on that strip. 
Um, I have this little splitter deal right here that will go into that original light outlet and replace that and two, it will replace that with this. Two of them will end up being plugged into there. I know one will be plugged into there. Um, I have a power cable right here that I could split it off, but uh, I'd rather have something that's less uh, wires and more clean. So I'll probably just get like a little splitter and then uh, end up throwing that on. Okay, so here are all the other little parts. This is the bracket that I was mentioning. Um, it comes with the screws, button connector, so you can connect them all in a series, and then a little clip on the back end that will close off the connector so that there won't be any kind of debris or anything else that can get inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up spaces on the wall to get these screwed in and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so those are the first two brackets that I put up. Um, just trying to make sure that I keep them all in the same, you know, length, not length, um, same uh, line. I wish I had a chalk line, but I don't. Um, I'm really just going off of the tape measure and making sure that it is all, you know, still straight. So this is that little button connector that I held in my hand earlier. It goes into here, obviously just put another one on here and it'll slide over this connector, make it seamless and one continuous strip throughout the, uh, the whole ceiling. Okay, so we got one strip in and it was a challenge to put it up because I don't have a chalk line. So I had to sit here and uh, take them all and line them up each by each. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with uh, the lights on. Okay, so this is how the lighting looks. That's with the garage light. Already, just a whole lot better. <laughs> it's crazy. And that's just this side. Right now, I just have it connected with the button connector and then one heading to the uh, little flashlight, deal, the little uh, light bulb deal. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock out this other side before I have to leave for work. But yeah, man, like, that is, that that's crazy. So just these strips alone. So if you were to just get six, it would be able to light up your whole garage. You wouldn't have any problem. So all of the lights have been installed. Um, they came out very, very nicely. I just have to do some uh, wire management, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and let you guys see what it looked like before. So that was the, so this is how the light looks before. Um, the garage is still kind of lit. I can still find whatever it is I need to, you know, get and everything. It's a little amber light, but uh, this is the before. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the after. Okay, and this is after. So now there is no, no shadows. Everything is lit up. It looks very, very nice. It's clean and like, it's, it's awesome. It's perfect. So I'm very satisfied with these lights. They are awesome. Like I, like I said, I don't have any complaints with them. There's no humming noise. There's no buzzing or any of that. Um, I do have to still get the lighting uh, wiring situated, but you know, just putting them up came out very, very nicely. Um, I'm gonna replace that light with one of those LED one so that it matches uh, and doesn't look so ugly. Uh, but yeah, man, it came out looking, it came out looking real good. So um, hopefully the videos will look a lot better whenever I'm working in the garage. Just all around, it's, it's awesome. So one of the light fixtures is going to the light um, it can't support both of those because like I said, you're supposed to only be able to you're supposed to only run three in a section, but I have them teed off right now. Um, but yeah, 
So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Um, there's a lot of other stuff coming for the car. I'm very excited for it and I know a lot of other people are. Um, so this has been Lucky and I'll catch you guys in the next video.